Hi everybody, welcome back to another Zen ASMR video. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm gonna be showing you da -da -da, a dollar and a haul. And I'm gonna show you everything that I picked up, what I think were my top purchases. So if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell for more content. And for all of my lovely subscribers, you are wonderful. And if anybody hasn't told you that today, that's what I wanted to do. So let's delve right into the Dollarama haul. Okay. Today I bought, I shouldn't have bought, <laughs> shouldn't being the word here. I bought more can you recognize, what do you think this is? You had to guess. What do you think? What is that sound? Sounds familiar from my, all my older videos. I'll give you a second. All right. I just bought. <laughs> I've got some hair in my mouth. What's going on, girl? Pull yourself together. This is a YouTube video. All right. I just bought an unreasonable amount of stickers <laughs> from Dollarama. And um, my, my reasoning is that they were all for a gift. I'll be keeping some. <laughs> so I'll be keeping some of them. I'll show you which ones I kept. These ones are all gifts. And what I like about these ones is this is for a five-year-old because look at how tiny those stickers are. There's little eggs and there's tiny little stickers that are really difficult to peel off. So it's really good for a kid to develop pincer grip. And so I bought it for my friend's kid so he could have practice using his pincer grip. Lego is also really good for pincer grip. Okay, and then there's also this one that I got, and they both of the kids love stickers, so you can't go wrong with buying just a lot of stickers for kids. This is really cute. It's just a bunch of owl stickers, and they're just super cute puffy stickers. It brings me back to my my past. Did anybody ever have sticker albums? Did you remember having sticker albums? Let me know in the comments if you had sticker albums. Do you remember Pogs? And There used to be a thing called Devil Sticks. I, I'm not sure if that was just in my area or if Pogs, Devil Sticks, and those were the major trends. And these are cute. I thought they'd like that. These are super cute. Lots of crinkling going on. They're just so crinkly. Like I said, I shouldn't do, but I did. And this is for the toddler. And she, because I'm just a kid at heart when it comes to stickers. I got myself one of these sheets for letter writing. And then I got myself some ladybugs just to kind of make my handwritten letters a little more colorful during the winter months. Because we all need a little more color and light during the winter. I find the days are shorter and the nights. Okay, and then there's also this one that I got, and they both of the kids love stickers, so you can't go wrong with buying just a lot of stickers for kids. This is really cute. They're just a bunch of owl stickers, and they're just super cute puffy stickers. It brings me back to my, my past. Did anybody ever have sticker albums? 
Did you remember having sticker albums? Let me know in the comments if you had sticker albums. Do you remember pogs and there used to be a thing called devil sticks. I, I'm not sure if that was just in my area or if pogs, devil sticks, and those were the major trends. And these are cute. I thought they'd like that. These are super cute. Lots of crinkling going on. They're just so crinkly. Like I said, I shouldn't do, but I do. And this is for the toddler. She's very arts and crafty, so she'll like these. And then I got these unicorn stickers, which will also be good for her pencil grip practice. So those are the stickers that I bought. And then I bought stickers for myself. <laughs> because I'm just a kid at heart when it comes to stickers. I got myself one of these sheets for letter writing. And then I got myself some ladybugs just to kind of make my handwritten letters a little more colorful during the winter months. Because we all need a little more color and light during the winter. I find the days are shorter and the nights are longer. So a little color is good every now and then. All right, so those are the stickers I got. This is gonna be a regular spoken video because I have done a lot of whispered videos and I like to switch it up every now and then. Okay, next I'm gonna show you the toys that I picked up for the kids. The first thing that I picked up was for the three-year-old. Now she's a bit, she's, her milestones made me pick this up for her because she, I know she won't put it in her mouth and I know she won't choke on it. And if and if her mother has hesitation, she can give it to the kindergartner. The age for this is actually three plus. So she is in the right age. And this is something that I really think that she's gonna enjoy. Get some good teppy sounds. I was gonna do teppity teppity teppity, but I don't have my mic. <laughs> It's so much better when there's a mic, especially the Yeti. The Yeti is my go-to. I love the Yeti. Lots of crinkling, so I think she'll really like this. She can have a lot of fun playing with these toys. All right, so this was this, and it's, oh, on the back, it says they've got bunnies, and they've got puppies, and even more puppies, so lots of pup kits and cats as well. So, I think these are really good for advanced preschoolers and kindergartners, because Anytime they're toddlers, there's a potential of them putting these small items in their mouth and it becomes a choking hazard. So I decided to um, get it for her toddler because she's pretty advanced and then the, the parent is usually pretty good at knowing if this is best for the toddler or the kindergartner and I think the toddler can handle it because I've seen her play. So that's why I picked it up. One of them will like it and one of them will use it. So this is a holiday gift for one of them. The next thing I'm going to show you is this item. It is a solar system planetarium and in this planetarium there is, let's take a look, 
there is a model and there's also, you can see right here, this paintbrush. Now, depending on the age group, you might want to switch up the paintbrush because again, pincer grip. Um, having a thicker paintbrush for for a kindergartner who had just wants a thicker paintbrush might be easier because you can see how skinny it is and it comes with these paints so i would say this activity is best done with parental supervision mostly because i think that there's a lot of smaller parts to it like these smaller parts would be hard to put on they could do it it's just they need someone there with them to help them out with it and then you can see here that there's the planets and then you can put the name on the planets on it with um i think there's a let me see paint each planet and add highlights to create an afterglow effect and then you can watch it glow in the dark which is pretty cool so i'm excited to see how he reacts to this because he's just he's at a really fun age kindergartner and kindergarten is such a fun age i think because they start getting really curious about anything and everything and preschools are fun but i think kindergarten is my favorite age group so um kindergarten has a special soft spot in my heart so i wanted to challenge him and get him a solar system model lots of different parts to it which is good for any kid with an engineering mind and he does so this will be good for him with parental help the next thing i'm going to share is a fun one and i would actually do this myself <laughs> who's kidding who i would try this i'm almost tempted to go back and get one for myself this is called scratch art and scratch art is really neat because it doesn't matter what age they are they can still have fun with it so this was a dollar 25 and you get four designs in it these are these are the pictures here there's i don't know that, that's an alligator a llama a sloth and a fox so each set comes with four different designs and you scratch the the black part away and the matte coating of each sheet with a stylus and then they'll be able to see the design and colors hidden beneath so i picked it up because it's a good activity for a toddler girl or boy um depending on what their interests are and then for the kindergartner, I'm getting a planetarium because, again, there's going to be a lot of online learning going on. And this is stuff that they can show their class what they're working on and show and share. The toddler can show this to their daycare and the kid can show this to their online class during show and share. So that's why I thought this was good for him. And when I saw it, I thought, okay, he's going to enjoy this. <laughs> he's going to really like this one. I'm just going to keep rambling here. So if you're still interested, stay tuned. Hopefully this helps you fall asleep. This one is always popular. It's putty. And it's a good stocking stuffer. It's good for science experiments and good for work at home um online learning again with the online learning this is perfect because if they want something to fidget with when they're sitting in their seat um this would be a good thing because it is a little challenging for a kid to stay to stay focused for as long as they have to 
in online learning is such a different ball game and the kids are fast adapters. I'm, I'm so surprised with how fast they adapt to online learning. They just, they mesh. And so in the classroom, if they were doing a circle time, they would get fidget toys if they had a hard time focusing. But when they're, when they're sitting in front of the computer and they need a fidget toy, um, this would be a good idea because they can just squeeze it and it's, it can help them stay focused. So I got this for him because he will be doing online learning come January and I wanted him to have a few things to get his online learning off to a start. The next thing I bought, I went on quite the splurge here, <laughs> is tissue paper. Let's see what crinkly sounds we can make with that. I like the little specks of glitter through the tissue. And this is also good for crafts, so I'll keep that for crafts as well. I don't really know what I'm going to use it for, but even if I decided to create an ASMR video with tissue paper, that is always an option because I could make a video with tissue paper. Ooh, that's so crinkly. I have been filming this video once before and it didn't work out because I had filmed it in different parts. So unfortunately I had to refilm it and this is the one that's going up because there's less edits. I find the more edits there are, the more timely things take for me to put together. So I just tend to do it all in one shoot. And if it doesn't work out, I just refilm at a really quiet time. And so this is that time I managed to find time where everything was, everything was quiet and it was a perfect time to film. I'm gonna grab some stickers now and make some crinkly sounds with these. I can never get tired of finger tapping. This is such a finger tapping and hearing stickers. Crinkle. It's just such a relaxing nostalgic sound. And it's funny because this was a hobby when I was a kid. You never know what hobbies are going to stick. No pun intended. <laughs> oh dear. It's getting light. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are and whatever time it is. I hope that it's been a good one and that you've been able to get some time for yourself and do some self-care. I think self-care around this time is really important. So I hope that you've been able to get some self-care and whatever that is is to you. Alright, I'm going to wrap this
this up here. So thank you so much for joining me today as I went over my Dollarama haul. And as always, let me know what you think in the comments because I'd love to hear from you. And if you're new here, again, please click that notification bell for more content if you like it. And if you're not a fan, not to worry, there is a plethora of amazing ASMR content. And check out the comments under my video because you'll often see lots of really good ASMR artists who support me. And when I first started making videos, they all warmly welcomed me into their community and it was very lovely. And that's why I have a soft spot in my heart for them. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful evening, day, whatever time it is. Have a good one and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.